Vishwakarma Kaushal Samman. That is but artisans. Handicraft, but it's handicraft. Artisans with the... Yes, yes. We have Vishwakarma Kaushal Samman package for assistance for traditional artisans and craft, craft people has been conceptualized. We enable them to improve quality, scale and reach of their products. Integrating with MSME value chain. So, so all these um, uh, artisans and handicraft manufacturers will be associated. Will be, uh, will be correlated with MSMEs to improve their uh, what we call uh, value, better price, and reaching the market, uh, marketing opportunities and reaching the consumers as, as early as possible. Next one is tourism. The most important uh, revenue sector is tourism. Uh, the government proposed to promote the tourism, um, will take up on mission mode with active participation of states and convergence of government program and public-private enterprise partnerships. 50 tourist destinations will be selected through challenge mode to be developed as a whole package of domestic and international tourism. States will be encouraged to set up a unity mall in state capital as the most popular tourist destination in the state for the promotion and the sale of one district, one product. One district, one, one, two, for all these things, the government is proposing to encourage the tourism and uh, because of that tourism, all the local sector will be, the local entrepreneurs, local consumers, local uh, product will be, uh, will be attract the tourists and will have market, will have marketing opportunities. Next one is free food scheme to continue till 2024. The government, uh, the central government is proposing to continue the free food scheme, uh, giving five, uh, every, giving every for poor people, every person five kg, uh, we rice or wheat every month free of cost, and that is going to be continued even for the next year 2024 also. This is the costiest. Uh, uh, nearly the government is allocating 2 lakh crores for this free food distribution program. This, this is our uh, the government's vision is for the our uh, government's vision for the Amrut call includes a technology driven India rising global profile is because of several accomplishments. Aadhaar proving UPI have been contributed to be improving India's global profile. During pandemic, the government ensured no one went to bed hungry. Government efforts to since 2014 have ensured for all citizens a better quality of life and life of dignity. The per capita income has more than doubled to 1.97 lakhs in 9 years. The Indian economy has increased in size from being 10th rank to 5th rank largest in the world. The world has recognized India, India as the brightest part, bright star. Our growth for the current year is estimated at 7%. This is the highest among all major economies. In spite of massive glo global slowdown caused by pandemic and the war. It, in these times of global challenges, India's G20 presidency gives India a unique opportunity to strengthen India's role in the world economic, economic order. And with all these things... I think uh, this year budget of uh, 23 to 24 has been the best of budget as of now till today ever published. We cannot say the performance. Say the, the performance. performance, yes, of course. But say the budget, what is presented by our honorable FM, uh, I feel it has really been justified to all sectors. That is the reason we have no um, uh, this one uh, voice from the others. See, what is happening is those who are expecting freebies or favors may not be may not be convinced, may not be satisfied. Yes. The people who wants to be sincere only will be satisfied. And there is a satisfied. saying also, sir, you cannot convince all people at yes, all times. At all times. So, so there has to be somewhere will, some uh, yes, part can, of a yes. vacuum in anyone's mind. We cannot expect in that. In your every, purview, it may be correct. In my purview, it may be wrong. So we cannot satisfy everybody's demands at the same time. We cannot expect everybody's is, uh, wishes will be. Yeah. Uh, and what is genuine and uh, justiceable to everybody and in the welfare the of everyone. Majority has been designed this time, I feel. And it has more, been substantially very justiceable, I feel. One more thing is the, the real, real challenge comes in the allocation reach to the destination. 
exactly. this actual implementation so what is the what is the perform what is the uh, for success level what is the performance level that only will give the manaku that only will give, give the, the correct glimpse the correct, of correct what, glimpse has of what has been happened is this been really yes, justified yes, yes. that is the yeah. outcome only can speak about yeah. the uh, justification and one more thing is the main major characteristic of this budget is it is for the long run benefit not populist but it is long run benefit for the long term benefit of the company to convert the indian economy to uh, 5 trillion dollar by 2027 and 10 trillion dollar economy by 2030 this is the with these aims of convert strengthening the economy job creation environment protection in infrastructure development education skill development and all these things considering considering all these things the government has taken proposed this budget and this is not the end this is the beginning this is a out of one step this is a first one to hundred step this is the step one step ahead this year means amrit kal budget for another 20 years the government has prepared a uh, uh, ta- task for achieving the uh, target goal goals and that is the and to, to, towards that direction the budget is prepared and that is proposed by the president and the budget and the parliament on the first day february 20 2023 by our honorable finance minister that's a tedious for gst i mean gst sorry gst every state manufacturer will pay gst by selling to the trader trader will pay gst by on the difference to the retailer retailer will collect the gst from purchaser when he sells to consumer fine when the retailer bears the all this process obviously he will put his margin again kada sir only so the margin are going to be costly for only on the margin only he has to pay tax suppose a purchaser is a manufacturer is sold for 100 rupees he has paid tax of let's say 5 rupees 105 rupees he has sold when the retailer who has sold it for 110 he has to pay tax on 10 rupees only not on 105 ah and if the retailer if the uh, another trader is there if he sell for 120 Just pay them only twenty rupees. The difference only. You need not pay on the total amount. Earlier it was there, but now after GST, the cascading effect has been reduced. But uh, by this way, don't you think uh, the people purchasing toys and all for their children uh, will be very much in less ratio of purchases? That is different. government ka tax collection is different and uh, no sir tax is based on the people's uh, supply against demand so when there is a demand from the uh, public for the toys obviously the supply has to be equally when supply is there then manufacture it's a chain link so when the supply is there and the retailer buys it from retailer the purchaser buys that uh, the common customer is it if it is costing so much Why will a customer buy for the toys? The children will be lacking behind playing their childhood without toys. It is not like that. It is the the paying capacity of the person who is going to purchase that will be bought. But not all can afford to do so. No, if they cannot, if they, if they don't have money, they don't go, don't go for purchase. That is the only alternative. <laughs>